So the previous video showed you how to import and export footage into iMovie. This video will actually show you how to import images, add narration, add text, add transitions, uh, and also show you how to export it again. Uh, I'll also go into how you're supposed to send your file to your professor um, through Google Drive. So let's begin. So as you can see, this is our clip from um, the last video, Star Wars. And so it, as a review of how to get it up there, we can just select the, the portion we want to stop at and then just drag to the beginning. Uh, once you have your clips selected, you'll pull it up to the top. Now everything up here in this timeline is actually what's going to be exported. Here is just kind of a repository of, of your video clips if you bring in more, things like that. So the next step we'll need to do is import images. So I'm going to show you how to import images from Google Drive into iPhoto into iMovie. Uh, there is no easy way as far as drag and drop into iMovie, so you have to use iPhoto. So let's grab a couple images. So I will right click on my image, I'll click download, um, close the preview, uh, get one more for you. Alright, so now we'll open up iPhoto. So iPhoto is already on my dock. Over here, we can uh, do two different ways of bringing into videos, images into iPhoto. We can drag and drop, or we can use a traditional uh, file import. So go to my downloads. So there's that, and then I'll show you my uh, the drag and drop version. There's that. You can go to your photos and see all the ones you have in your iPhoto. So close these guys. Now over here on the right, you'll see this camera icon. Um, it syncs up with your iPhotos. So this is the one I, we just uh, imported. This is the other one we just imported. So now these are in your project, in your iMovie project. So the next step is to get them into your timeline. So you will now be able to just drag and drop. So if I wanted to, I could take all these, bring them up here. The green line indicates uh, its allocated spot. Um, you'll notice kind of a, an effect going on. It's called the Ken Burns effect. So if you click on this arrow down, you'll say cropping Ken Burns and rotation. This is the Ken Burns. It gives you kind of a pan of where it starts and stops. Uh, you can change these if you wanted to. Or if you don't want it, you can just say fit. It gives you the full image. You can say crop, give you that image. Uh, Ken Burns is kind of a cool effect, so I'll just leave it on. All right. So the next step is to add some text. So again, we'll go over here to the right and click the T. Um, at, the at the beginning, you'll probably want to put your center text. This can create its own space or it could um, be overlaid. So at the beginning, we'll create our own space or you can have it overlaid depending on your preference. Uh, so we'll select stars for Star Wars uh, over here. give it a title. Um, you can change your fonts. If you scroll through you'll notice uh, how they look. Colors. You'll probably just do white. Alignment. Outline. Bold. So you also want to do some 
um, text that kind of overlays your images. So uh, there's a variety of different options you can use here. Um, the more traditional one would probably be lower third or just a lower. So I'll kind of do this. Click off to, to make your selection final. Let's do one more. That's his name. All right, so we're all set. Um, let's do one more. I'm sorry. Kind of throw, show you a different option. Okay, so that's how you do text. Um, either on top of the image or at, the, at creating its own um, slide. The next thing you'll want to do is add some transitions. So over here you'll see um, this kind of envelope looking thing. So you have your cross resolve which is the more traditional one. Fade to black and fade to white are all three very traditional. These others are kind of more um, uh, creative but uh, if you're going for traditional straightforward, these would be the three that you want to use. Uh, so here we'll kind of just do a cross dissolve, to click and drag and put it in between. We'll fade to black with our movie. And we'll fade to white with our baby Jedi. Alright, so that's how you add transitions. So now let's do the voiceover. So here this icon is a little microphone recording voiceover. So we'll click on that. Right now we have our microphone selected as our Yeti. So the next step is to kind of click on to the clip that you actually want to start uh, your voiceover. So this is a test of my voiceover. Um, and uh, I can just talk on and on and as you can see the red is where it's recording um, and then I just click off the screen to stop my recording so I can close this now uh, you can also uh, do voiceovers over, the, over your images as well too so again we'll do the same process click the microphone select where we want to start the clip These are some balloons with the Ken Burns effect. This is a very nice lake with Ken Burns effect. This is Angus. The next is a portrait of a woman holding a cup. The last is our baby Jedi. Alright, so we'll close that. So now we have our movie. Uh, created so you have a couple different elements to it. So you have your slide um, text, you have your movie clip, so you have your voice over on recording, you have your transitions, there's you a still image that we brought in from I iPhoto. And again, you have your voice like recording, transitions, and images, and these all fulfill your requirements for your video. So the next step is to actually export it. Uh, you can refer back to the first video as far as uh, exporting to AVI. So I'll show you the other option. Uh, you can export movie. We'll do desktop. You can use HD 720 if you wanted to, uh, but large is just as good. So uh, we'll keep it at large because of the file size and the time it takes. Uh, but again, either one of these is, is uh, ideal. Okay, our movie's ready. 
So we will minimize this. Here's our baby Jedi. So this is a test of my voiceover, um, and uh, I can just talk on and on, and um, as you can, you can see, the red is where it's recording, um, and then I just click off the screen, screen to the quality of the video. These are some balloons with a camera effect. This is a very nice lake camera effect, this is Angus. The next is a portrait of a woman holding a cup. The last is our baby Jedi. And that's it. This M4V is is uh, the max version of a MP4, so you should be fine um, as long as you open this up in QuickTime or VLC. I uh, shouldn't have any issues. So the next step now is to get it into uh, Google Drive so you can share it with your professor. Um, the other option is in the first video uh, is a way to do AVI, which is Nina's preference. So um, if you're not familiar with Google Drive, um, this is a very simple process as far as adding files to be shared. So we'll go to Drive. There's two different ways you can do it. You can drag and drop. You can do a right click. So what we'll do is uh, we'll just drag and drop it. Down here is your, indi is your notification bar. been uploaded so we'll scroll down to our baby Jedi video um, two different ways you can share um, you can do a right click share and you can do go up here to this icon same window appears and then you just type in your professor's name uh, we'll give her full privileges so she can edit as well and then you click share and send. And that's it. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to contact us or visit the CLT. Thanks. Bye.